Hello viewers and welcome to my new initiative where I play some games. We'll see if you guys like watching me play them, listen to commentary. Maybe we'll get on Twitch at some point. I don't know. We'll see where this goes. Uh, anyway, this is modded Minecraft. In particular, a mod called Better Than Wolves. Uh, I imagine that the only people that are watching this are going to be people that already play the mod. But in case you don't, it is an all-encompassing overhaul mod that uh, generally makes Minecraft, uh, yes, more difficult, but also in a lot of ways more realistic. The mod author Flower Child has been on and off working on this for several years. I've been playing it on and off for several years. Uh, I haven't made nearly as impressive buildings or uh, constructs as some of the other players, but I certainly have enjoyed playing the mod. And I guess this is sort of a homage to that, and also, you know, having fun posting some videos on YouTube. Um, so, there's been a lot of changes to the early game recently, making things a lot more difficult, uh, extending the early game, and balancing it out as well. Uh, we are currently running version, uh, I think it's like triple A, triple B. Uh, which introduced hardcore knitting. I've been watching a lot of uh, Vioki's Twitch streams lately, and that sort of inspired me to get some recordings of my own. As I know, he, as I believe, he started on YouTube, and then he's actually an official Twitch streamer now, which is pretty sweet. So anyway, uh, without further ado, we'll just jump right in. Whatever. We're going to make a new world keep having whenever I've made these worlds I keep modeling them around alternative names or creative names or whatever I guess soul would be sun instead of earth but I've also had Terra and other cool names like that at least I thought they were cool whatever doesn't matter right so oh jungle great that's going to be really rough and tumble. Let's see, did I? Oh, gosh. I have not modified my controls. I like this here and that there. Oop, not one. That. Grave. All right. So, obviously, we start by punching some wood. I think I see some a uh, hill over there, but that's also jungle. I actually should probably just try to get out of the jungle rather than trying to get a stick. Um, so, needless to say, I have gotten some of the spoilers up to uh, what tech level is Vioki at. Last I saw, he was at, um, he had hibachis. So, he has semi-renewable iron resource. So I've seen most of the uh, the general gameplay that you should follow, or that might be advisable up until that point. I unfortunately did not avoid spoilers, but that's fine, because we can still enjoy the game while knowing what to do. Even if we know what to do, that's not going to make it any easier. At least I don't think so. So I think, oop, so with that stick, I'm going to actually try to get out of here. There's lots of wildlife. Jungle definitely goes that way for a bit. Hoping I don't encounter any spiders. But we definitely want to get out of here. This is really going to impede day one progress in a really bad way. Like, oh, yep, we're just going to die right away. <laughs> uh Okay, run, little guy, run. No, leave me alone, spider. I don't want to die. Ugh. Well, I guess I don't have a choice. All right, so, great start. Also spawns in the middle of the jungle. That's exciting. Um. So, yeah, okay. This, oh. Well, I suppose it, it was close enough to the time that... Uh, Hardcore spawn or spawn wouldn't have reset yet. 
So the jungle's right there. We've got lots of animals here. Unfortunately, they are all probably going to bite the dust overnight. Uh, I would like to get over there, but swimming looks like it takes a heck of a lot more energy than it used to. Which means I'm just going to meander on over here and punch some wood. Make my fist bleed. It actually doesn't yet. But I wouldn't be surprised if that was added, honestly. That would discourage you from sitting there with your fist to punch a block into non-existence. I don't think it could be too difficult to do. So, as far as I'm aware, in this first day, we want to get some sticks. Or, rather, I think, I want to almost immediately get a stick and then use it to go get a sharp stone which I can then use to get a couple more sticks and then find a hole to hide in and hope food sources survive the night. So yeah, we've got got that on the agenda. We'll actually see how often I do this without anyone else to actively talk to. It's just me yammering. And especially in the beginning of Better Than Wolves, there's a lot of just boring staring at someone punching stuff. And I don't have good editing software, so I can't just cut to it. I actually don't even have a good idea of um, time frame reference. So um, I don't want to cross. But that means I need to get to a hole somewhere. This is using up food, but desperate times. Um, so I guess I'm gonna go into this and hopefully find some stone there. It's gonna take probably way too long to dig this. this. Not going to go straight down because I'd rather turn this into a hidey hole. Which means I'm going to want to slab it in. Just hoping for some stone sooner rather than... Ah, well, that's not something we were hoping for. Oh, yeah. I also need sneak to be that. My hand position's a little different. Okay, that's a bummer. A waste of time. Okay, there's some stone over there. I think we're just gonna cross the water at the smallest point possible. Drain a whole bunch of food and ah, uh, bollocks. Not having the best of luck here. Aren't you fine? We'll figure it out somehow. Oh, my skin's not showing. I have a custom skin. We'll have to get that figured out for the next um, next recording. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I don't have good editing software, so breaking this into half an hour chunks, which is I think what I'm going to try to do. The way I can pause for breaks and the things are even and whatnot. Oh shoot. That's right, that first layer does not grant you anything. Hopefully the second one does, otherwise we're going to be out of a pointy stick. Come on, give me what I need. Alright, got the stone. Then we use the sharp stone to get more stone. Uh, if I recall, it's every other, but... Despite that, I'm going to use this sharp stone because it's faster. So what else do we need? We're going to need some stones. We're going to need some string. Which we won't be able to get until the spiders attack overnight. Which means really we need... sticks and stuff for uh, weapons and whatnot. 
I'm going to get one more stone here. Then we'll go for some sticks. beginning part is really killer super slow and aggravating and that's why deaths are gonna be terrible nowadays but should be fun it definitely makes getting back home once you die a terrible difficulty I don't think this one will yield the stick unless something was changed about that. Nope. But I need them sticks. I don't think that one gives a stick, so we'll go here. I know I'm overusing the durability of the sharp stone. But, need to make up some time. So if I get four sticks, then I get a campfire. If I get six sticks, I have a campfire and a fire starter. No guarantees that the fire starter is going to be enough. Uh, I don't have food to cook yet. But, oh, how much daylight do we have? I'm not sure not quite sure yet it's probably past noon already uh, yep slightly past okay so if I start the fire that's great but I don't have much to put in it I also don't have a hole to hide in yet. It's going to be a rough one. I suppose the day-night cycle might be a decent split, for the beginning at least. It's what, 20 minute episodes? It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Breaks it up a little more. Towards the, like, later in the tech tree, the farther along we get, I can, um, okay, so I have eight sticks. I think I need to focus on finding a hidey hole at this point. Let's see what's up this hill. If anything, okay. Well, that's a good source of coal. There's no cliffside that I can just hide in. Or dig into. I can maybe sort of do something. Ooh, okay. This might be good. This might be good. It also could be stone right away, and then we would be not so good. Oh, picked up some rotten flesh, huh? Yeah, it's stone right away. That does not help. Hmm. <clears throat> not quite. Okay. Well, that was... Hmm. I suppose I can kind of try to make a thing here. Because they won't be able to get me from above. If I shore up the sides a little bit, we'll have a little bit of a hidey hole. Until I have an axe, uh, things are going to be a little tough. Alright, well, we'll hope that shelters us enough. It'll also give me something to do overnight. Um, so... Cows running around. Oh, there's zombies coming out. Great. Uh, I am going to hop around because, oh shoot, yeah, the sun is dropping already. 
Oh, there's the sun. Okay. Yep. I guess I'm going to go back to that hidey hole with no food. I don't think the pigs, I think they, I don't remember if they die too fast to this or not. Um, but this will give me something to do here. Just sort of try to guard myself. Which is going to be rough. Oof, it's dark. Turn on my brightness settings a little bit just so I can see. Well, hopefully so you guys can see too. Yeah, that's right. You changed it so it doesn't really do that much. Uh, I will save that pointy stick. Uh, I suppose I should probably sort of block myself in. So I bet you guys can hardly see this. You might be able to see it better than I can, if this recording is any sign, which would be good. So I'm just going to spend the night punching the wall. Oh, do I not have any sounds on? Interesting. I have not heard any game sounds. That's odd. But my game's at 100%. Um, I guess I'll check it after this recording. So we're punching some stone in order to get some more regular stones. Little stone chips. So we can have more sharp stones. So we can hopefully kill some webs tomorrow and then make an axe. We'll see how this goes, though. Gosh, I can't believe I didn't even notice that there weren't any game sounds. I'm used to running with Minecraft muted because I usually have something in the background. Uh... However, it's probably not the best approach. Uh, for this, probably at least want to have some sort of game sound. Okay, so I'm going to punch this one because this level is not going to give anything. So one issue with my current hidey hole is I think it's only stone at these two blocks and the third block is not stone, which means it's going to be dirt, which will fall. Which is going to stink when it does. And I won't have a roof. I also need to go find clay at some point so we can start that going. Lots to do, and very little time to do it in. Lots of under pressure issues. Alright, so we got that, and now we go at it with the sharp stone. Oh, that one didn't give me one? Bummer. Must have been wrong about what stage this one was at. I guess I'll just use this sharp stone throughout. Probably just wasting time. The time you save by using stones is probably balanced by the durability use of the stones you gather. I would guess. I'm um, un 
unfortunately, in my little hidey hole, I'm not going to be able to tell what time of day it is. I suppose I could turn around. Gasp, it's still nighttime. I'm really hoping that creeper doesn't stick around. Oh, is that stone? Oh, that'd be glorious if that was stone. Oh. Welp. The creeper stuck around. I'm just gonna keep chopping at this. Probably gonna die. Creeper must have come off that ledge, blown up there. There's a chance that if I'm able to secure this area somehow, that this could be a decent little hidey hole. It really requires me getting a stone pick, though. And surviving. Gravel. I think that means I'm close to breaking through. Or not. This is horrendous. <laughs> I think my first goal has to be an axe. So that I can get more sticks. But I'm hoping to be able to get two string. Two string would be, if I know the recipe, which I actually don't. In which case, I might have to find a better hidey hole. There is the minor detail that this hidey hole is not actually a hidey hole at all. It is an exposed area that I'm <laughs> sitting here toy toying with death. Kind of hoping that the monsters don't come at me. Oh god, no, stay away. Wait, how? That was weird, it didn't look like it was hurting him. Cool, so now I'm hurt. And I don't have food to help me heal. I think I have no choice but to keep going at this. If I die, then... Well, I die, and I hopefully spawn in, an, in a decent area. So the club's almost gone, which means I'm going to need sticks to replenish it. Or replace, if I am unable to find a string... I kind of wish that spider had spat a web at me, because I don't believe it dropped one, which does not bode well. Definitely going to have to spend the next day getting a food source. Which might be problematic if I am unable to find a string. At least one. Two would be prime. We'll have to do some wandering around. Hopefully this little plains area um, that way is able to give us some resources. Also hoping that it's getting close to daytime so that I can actually execute said plan. It looks like it's getting lighter. Yes, okay. I'm gonna go at these last couple bits. I wonder if my time would have been better spent chipping away at the tree above me to get more sticks. 
Don't know. Okay, I think I have to move though. Regardless. Hoping to find some spider webs. Not seeing spider webs. Poop. Oh, there's one. Thank goodness. So, one of the most recent updates had some fun times with string. Or this web. In that it has layers too. Which is just splendiferous, isn't it? If this is the only string... It won't be the end of the world, but it'll make the axe short-lived. But I still think I need to get the axe instead of the pickaxe. Because the axe will get me more sticks, which I can do stuff with. Alright, string. Don't want a shovel. Don't want a shovel. Don't want a shovel. Don't want a shovel. Um, try a sharp stone. No? Okay. Oh, is it two? Yeah, it's two. Okay, cool. Alright. Give me some wood. Some wood. Achievement get. So I think, weapon-wise, I might have to stick to clubs, because this axe is pretty precious. Um. And it's going to burn through way faster than I need it to. But, good news is... This wood will hopefully last me a night or two. Actually, what would be best if I were able to find another web? Okay. It's probably enough wood for now. Oh, squids. They died, huh? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna murder this chicken. I guess it's lacking knockback, and that's the thing. That must be it. Um, if there were clay somewhere around here, that would be nice. No, no takers, no clay. And there's some right over there, but that's going to be a pain to get to. I'm going to wait until I have a better food source first. Which means I need to go find some more chickens. Here, chick, 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 chicken. Come to Cherry. So I can eat you later. Wonder if any animals ran down that. Okay, red mushrooms. Not the most useful right now, but not terrible. Food poisoning is absolutely killer nowadays, so we're not going to do anything with that. Sweet. slowly meander after this guy slabbing everywhere so that sheep was either probably already hurt yeah it was already hurt yeah of course I'm peckish of course I'm peckish it's not a string okay um yeah we're still gonna go Ooh, there's I wonder if it's worth going after it. I'm gonna guess it is. Okay, so. Make some of those. There's a campfire. If 
fire plow. That's what it was. Let me spend all my food trying to light a fire. Hopefully we don't die. I must have muted the desktop somehow. When I set recording. Oh yeah, I was going to stop after the first night. Oh well. We're going to see if I can make fire. Oh sweet. Uh, here. Have a log. No, no log. You don't take logs. Okay. Here's a pointy stick. Pointy stick. Cooked food. Wood. Well, wood does not work. Yep. Go down. Okay. So that's full for now. I really don't want it to go out. But I also need to go get this string. Oh, apparently we're going to set the forest on fire. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, my goodness. Well, there goes my hidey hole. Uh, yep, that's great. <laughs> oh, well, goodbye, forest. We, we didn't want you anyway, I guess. <laughs> oh, no. I just really need this chicken to cook. So I can eat it. And I can go do things. Cook, chicken, cook. Well, that string's probably going to be long gone. That's pretty funny. This is this is actually pretty hilarious. <laughs> it really sucks, but but it's funny. I just want some food in my tummy, cause I'm hungry, you oh, yeah. I should consider getting some of that, uh, un-trademarked, oh darn it, uh, untrademarked, I wonder if it resets when that happens, that would really stink. Can I has the food? Can I has? Um, okay. Well, less of a forest burned down than we thought, but our cover is now gone. And this takes forever. Well, I wasn't going to be able to do anything if I didn't do this, so there is that. I wonder if you still can't make pickaxes until later in the tech tree. You must require a crafting table, right? If it takes two stone, a stick, and a string to make a uh, an axe, a pickaxe must be way more than that. So the white smoke means it's cooking. But it's been a long time. Like, way too long. And But that doesn't look cooked. So there's no way that's cooked. So I have to imagine that the big flame... resets it. Which really sucks. Which makes those... Um, brick ovens super valuable. They're the first major hurdle, I feel. Yeah, am I just going to starve while I wait for this food to freaking cook? I haven't been timing how long it's been, but I thought it didn't take this long. Oh, thank goodness. I'm starving. Alright, feed it until it's big. And 
then put some food on it. And I really need to go get that string, I think. Of course, this fire is still going. And I also don't know where that stupid string was. Somewhere up here, I think. Oh, back to Peckish. That's good. Oh, there it is. So, the sun's going down. <laughs> which means this is really bad. Used to be you could gather these. Well, used to be. Like, two minor patches ago. You could gather these with the axe. And, uh... They didn't have layers. Which made this seem a lot better. Alas, that is no longer the case. So I'm probably risking it quite a bit in my fire might go out. I'm hoping it does not. Or did not. Uh-oh. It looks pretty dark over here. Oh! Sweet. Whew. So I'm going to chip away at this. And hope no monsters come up behind me. Because that's really all I have right now. For hope. I mean, I can kind of block them if I do this. They can't come in. Which I guess is good. So, let's see here. Is there a different arrangement that makes a pick? No, that's... It must just be that this is shapeless. Which means you do indeed need... No. Oh, yeah. Because then you have to use sharp stones to chip at uh, iron to get the bits of iron. So that's, that definitely can't be my focus right now. Right now my focus has to be uh, surviving with this food. And then uh, finding some clay. Well, digging up that clay in the water, whoops, darn it, would be the best idea. But that clay is going to be hard to get to, especially since I'm going to have to swim back up. Whoops. Well, whatever, I guess I'm not using the feathers right now, right? I'll go burn them. So we're going to have just enough... Fire will probably barely maintain us. We need some more food. Having that second string is great. I don't think I'm going to use it on a shovel, though. I think if I can, I'm going to keep going at this little hidey hole here. slowly make it bigger wonder if it's expending too much energy though but what else am I gonna do sit here and wait maybe are you done you look done yes you're done all right getting back up to full I need to chop some more of these, huh? Alright, that gives us a bit more fuel without using too much of the axe. I'm gonna keep that fire in the corner screen so I can see if it gets small. I think I'm just gonna feed it a sawdust every other block I do. So, hopefully, for the next video whenever I actually stop. I suppose I'll stop when it comes to daylight and have this be the first episode. Um, we only died once, which is nice. We were 
able to get a fire going, which is good. And we have a super not really safe hidey hole, which is better than nothing. Next steps will be to hopefully get some more string. And then after that, get some more food and get some clay so that we can get that baking. Food, I think we'll be okay to get some more sheep that were in the area, if they're still alive. Maybe some chickens. But getting some clay going so we can make an oven would be top priority right now, I think. And hopefully it's enough to just lay out wherever and uh, leave it be. Over, it takes what, two days, I think? If I recall correctly. Cook, little mutton, cook. So at best, I think by daylight, I'll have both of these single pieces of meat cooked and we can go hunting for more. I should consider carving this block to the right next so that I can get a spot for another campfire to go so I can cook things simultaneously. Because I have the... Uh, sticks to do it. Also means I can watch the fire while I'm carving. Uh, I was alternating before. I'm just going to keep using the stone. It's fine. Ooh, let's not die, Mr. Fire. That's going to be tough while I'm out and about. Keeping that alive. So I definitely don't want to expend the energy to light another one. Still nighttime yet. So anyone watching this, if you have any suggestions on editing software that won't diminish uh, video quality, I am all ears. Um, I do have a Mac that has iMovie on it for free, but the last video that I tried to edit with that, it significantly decreased the quality of the output video, and it didn't look, and I think that was at max quality settings. I assume there's some good pay to use stuff out there. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research. I plan on hopefully doing that in the near future. But until that point, I am open to suggestions. Alright, need a new stone. One of these nights I'll have to spend time doing some of that knitting so I can make some some sort of armor. I only have two wool so far, but it's at least something. I think it'll take four wool to make a toque. Alright, it's getting light out. Not quite light yet. Yeah, the best, the best short-term scenario will be when I can get a brick oven so that I can just throw logs in there and light it and have it last. Unfortunately, in the most recent update, the uh, style of it looking like a regular furnace is no longer applicable. 
So knowing how long you have and how much fuel you have in there seems really difficult. Oh, God. Okay. Well, there goes our food source, light source, etc. But at least we didn't die. So we definitely need a better hidey hole. Uh, take a, I'm going to go to the top of the cliff there, take a look around for some string, or web rather. If there's not a whole lot of mobs around, then we're not going to find any web. I'm going to go after some food if there's some. This will be useful eventually. Okay, there's some string right there. Okay, so I said I would break when daylight comes about. So we're going to get up to this. We're going to pause it, and we will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching the first two days of my newest adventure in Better Than Wolves. See you later.